time y'all and you know what that means it's time to get those budgets done so in this video i'm going to be doing my february 2021 monthly budget and debt repayment and so let's get into it hey guys i'm tasha from the major change group where we believe small changes can create big results and if this is your first time on the channel welcome we talk about credit budgeting and student loans we are going to be doing our budgets. So I'm doing my monthly budget. Now I do my budget three times a month. I do my monthly budget and then I do my bi-weekly budget. Probably like right before I get paid. So I like to do the monthly budget just to give me an idea. Okay, what do I think is going to be going on this month? And so that way I could just be prepared. And then I'll do my bi-weekly budgets before I get paid. You can always drop down in the description and get my free budget and debt repayment worksheet so that we can do our budget together. Or like today, I'm going to be using my 2021 digital budget planner and you can head over there to Etsy. It's $21 to get the digital budget planner, but that's what I'm going to be using today. So let's head over to my iPad where we're going to get started. Let's go. All right, we're coming in here to a 2021 Major Change Group Digital Budget Planner. We're going to start and put in our numbers. And so first, what I'm going to do is, if it's white, you can write. If it's blue, you can move. So I'm going to hit the button, and it's white. And so now I'm going to come over to my pen, and then I'm going to input my salary. And so first, I'm just going to put, um, I'm going to lump all of mine into one but you can always put like your salary if you have a side hustle if you have other money coming in you can put it in and break it out however you want but for the video i'm just gonna put all of mine in one lump sum and then next we're going to input my expenses and so what i like to do is first i like to do my fixed expenses so that I can make sure that all of my four walls are covered first. For my utilities i'm gonna come over here and i'm gonna write it out so first i'm gonna put my water bill and i know that that's 1802 then i'm gonna put my nes bill and y'all the nes bill the electric bill was 184 dollars and 65 cents this month Woo, y'all they really laid it out on me this month and then my Comcast bill, so last month when we were taking a look at it, it was $101 so they had went up. And so I was able to call them and I got it knocked down to, I want to say $73.04. But they said that I didn't make like a $12 payment. So it's going to be $85.76 for this one. And then also my... I think that's all that I'm going to put for my utilities.
So you can see that we're doing a zero based budget and my expenses came up to $3,504.60 and my bring home was $3,506.05. So it's just maybe like a few cents off. But in the budget, you can see that I have my car payment at $357.95, but I'm going to be paying an extra $100 on there for the interest. And you know we're still in our 2021 Major Change Group Savings Challenge where we're going to be saving $5,000 for 26 weeks, 6 months. And so I put $765 for savings so that's how much it is going to be for the month of february and so for week five we're going to be saving two hundred dollars all right so what we're going to do next we're going to come over to our debt repayment template and we're going to do my debt and so you know in my last video i was talking about can you save and pay down debt at the same time and you guys said yes you can so first we're going to put my car note and so my car, what I ended up doing, I didn't put um, $200 down towards it. I ended up just paying the interest off of it. And then within the next uh, five months, then that's when I'll put the um, what I saved. So we'll do it that way. So I'll still pay the $357.95. Plus I'm going to end up putting just $100 because... When I went into my portal, it is like a dollar and 71 cents a day for interest. And so next we have my student loans. Now we also know that on the student loans, they have um, extended the no student loan or interest until I want to say September 30th of 2021. You guys, can you believe it? Now, my company, they actually pay $150 a month, and so that has helped, and my student loans have still been going down, but there's going to be no interest on it, and then I'm not making a minimum payment, and then I have my mortgage, and also my mortgage, the amount went up just a little bit because they had changed um who my servicer was and i didn't put the right amount in there the last time so it went up just a little bit So now we're gonna come over here to my actual debt repayment and we're gonna put my car note and then I'm doing the debt snowball and so I'm just putting it from smallest to largest and so there we go. So for my minimum payment, I'm gonna be making a $457.95 payment on my car and the total debt repayment will be $1,065.95. Follow me on my Instagram page, The Major Change Group, and we can do this together. We got to hold each other accountable. But please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified when new content comes out. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time. It's not a game, sir.